Hey folks, this, this is Geek Helping Hand with the first setup installation for the brand new, all new iOS 6 from Apple. I have just downloaded this about an hour ago. It wasn't more than an hour to download because I live in Michigan and the speeds are pretty, pretty quickly. And it didn't take that long to download and install. It did kind of freeze at moments because of the amount of people on the Apple servers, but it's all good because it has downloaded and we can finally install it. And I just wanted to install it with you all so you won't miss out on anything because this is, you know, Geek Helping Hand and we love providing content for you no matter what cost or what time or anywhere in the world. So let's get right into it. As you can see, I'm installing this on my Apple iPod Touch 4th generation 8GB edition. This used to have 5.1.1, now it has iOS 6. So let's get into it. As you can see, it's just an iPod Wi Fi battery as well as iOS 6 right there. And the language is that says begin to start or unlock to start. Still, um, views just in this iOS. So let's slide and get inside this menu right here. This menu say update completed. Your iPod Touch was updated successfully. There was just a few more steps to follow, and then you're done. And it shows you the little picture right here and the continue button. So let's continue. All right. To finish setting up your iCloud, iMessage, and FaceTime into the Apple iPad password for your email address and then you click your password. So I'm going to cut it right about now. And welcome back. Sorry for that quick cut back. Um, but now we have entered our password and we have set it up really quick. And now it's on to terms and conditions. I don't really think I'm going to read these anymore because it's just way too long. And you have um, the send by email. If you do want to read it, you probably read it while you're in the bathroom or just doing something that's not part of your day or, you know, just bored. But um, it's basically just there so you know what um, iCloud and Apple has set up for you. You have two different buttons to disagree and agree. And, of course, you're going to click agree. So let's click agree. Right here it says terms and conditions. I agree to the iCloud terms and conditions and the Apple privacy policy. Either you can cancel and agree. Let's click agree. Now it will be updating iCloud, updating iCloud settings, dot 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 of course. And let's give it right here. It's really quickly. Now I move on to messaging. People can contact you on all your devices via iMessage and FaceTime using your iPhone iPod or iPad number or email address. Let others reach me at and they give you different options. For example, I have about three different emails. That's a lot of emails. Three different emails set up on my iPod Touch. You might have more or even less. And I want all of them people to be available to contact me via only all of them pretty much. It says new outgoing messages and FaceTime calls will be sent from the default email and you can always change this in the settings. So let's click next. Sorry for all the talking, but it's iOS 6, the big thing. And right there, thank you. Your iPod Touch is now set up. You're ready to start using the most advanced iOS ever. Notice they use ever. And let's click start using iPod Touch. And there you go. It pretty much looked the same way that I had it when I had iOS 5.1.1 install. Let's check the settings. It may be a little slower at the moment because it's kind of updating all my apps oh actually it did that already so let's um go into my settings right here we have airplane mode wi-fi and bluetooth notice that bluetooth is um not inside a different setting menu it's actually inside of um direct settings as well as the very top of the bar is now blue and a certain blue i don't know exactly what color blue but it's a blue um, you also have do not disturb. I don't really know how it is affect the um, iPod users, but you can click this on and off. I'll go in depth at a different video. Uh, scrolling down, you have notification, general sounds, brightness, and wallpaper are now two. Um, are now two categories, not two different menus, but they brighten it and um together. Sorry for the stuttering. Uh, let's go back. You also have privacy. Let's keep on um, going down. You have iCloud, mail, contact, calendars, notes, reminders, messages, FaceTime, maps, and Safari. Uh, let's see. Let's click on maps. So as you all may know, that maps, um, that Google Maps are not installed inside the um, iOS environment no more. Apple wants to separate themselves from Google, so they made up their own maps. That's also in a different video. Uh, now you have iTunes and App Stores all connecting one. Music, videos, photos, and camera and connecting one. And iBooks. 
Also, there will be Twitter and Facebook integration finally. So when you sign up through these two menus, you'll be signed up through the entire device as long as you're using it. And like always, you have all your different apps at the bottom. And don't forget about Passbook and the Google Maps right there. And that's pretty much the full installation of the iOS 6 for my iPod Touch 4th generation 8GB 2011 edition.